Welcome to the program today, Faith for Every Nation. I am Alicia Hankins Moran. I'm Pastor Mark and Trina's daughter, and we are so glad to have you join us here for the program today, where my parents have been talking about divine approval. I know you're gonna love it. Let's get right into the Word. It's now time for Mark Hankins, Faith for Every Nation. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. You know what, while we're talking about this, one of the ingredients in the blood is the love of God. It's a demonstration. Yeah, I call it liquid love. Liquid love. <laughs> and you know, these sacrifices that they did in the Old Testament, they didn't have that. They just had, this is what you got to do. This is the law. This You made you did so many sins all year long. All this sins, your yeah. attempt to cleanse yourself. There's no love in that, yeah. you know? And they only saw God's a holy God, yeah. difficult to approach because of our condition, uh -huh. because of our sin. But the love of God and approaching God with the blood of Jesus, whoo, that draws you very close to Him and you feel accepted. You feel loved. Mm. You, he's brought us in. We're not standing back, but He come, you know, the blood of Jesus, you mm. say, is liquid love, flows from the heart of God, and it heals us where we've been wounded by life. Praise wow. God. So Jesus so that is sacrifice. Wow. the perfect sacrifice mm -hmm. to produce <clears throat> a new kind of righteousness yeah. with His blood. Mm -hmm. So you have a better sacrifice, right? perfect sacrifice, and you have better promises mm -hmm. because you've got better blood. You've got the blood of God. And so through faith in the blood of Jesus, yes then the power of sin is not only broken, but even the memory or the consciousness of sin is yeah. removed. So that means if the devil can constantly bring up your shortcomings and your mm -hmm. failure, well, your faith is not gonna work. You have no confidence. Mm -hmm. And so the moment the blood is applied, you could almost say faith in the blood is the beginning of all faith in God. He washes us with his blood. Yeah. He wa God washes us when we come to him in Hebrews 10, says we have boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We can come and we can approach God with confidence. And then it says he washes with us with the sprinkling of his blood and the washing of the water of his word. Yeah. And it, to me, that just seems so intimate. Yeah. It, you know, God, you can't, you know, just bathing my little grandchildren or you know, whatever. That means I'm touching them. That mm -hmm. means I'm really watch, you know, really taking care of them. And, and uh, God, when we come by the blood of Jesus, mm. we're getting close to Him. Yeah. And He's really reaching out and He's touching us and He's cleansing, not only on the outside to make us look good on the outside, but we can't look good on the outside if we're feeling yeah. bad on the inside. So, so He reaches on the inside. So you're really not faking it. No, you're faith. You don't fake it till you make it. In other no. words, you're actually having faith in the blood, so you're not putting on a show, mm -hmm. because really the blood has produced a real righteousness as mm -hmm. a free gift, and that reaches into your conscience, removes the guilt, has the power. There is power. Wonder, wonder working work. power. <laughs> we sing all the old hymns. There is power, wonder working power in the blood. So when the devil sticks his ugly head up, <laughs> then you can say, by the blood of Jesus. In other words, you're going to have to say something about it. Yeah. Because you have to resist the devil with his thoughts, his accusations, and imagination. But the moment you confess, say something about what Christ has done on the cross, he did it for you set to the credit of your account, just like you were there. We call that your identification, identification. with yeah. Christ. And so by the blood of Jesus, you lift your voice <laughs> and it says, and Satan will flee or run from you. What's that scripture? Is that first Peter? Is it one? We have not, we've been redeemed, not with corruptible things, yeah. such as silver and gold. Uh, first Peter chapter one. 
And is that verse 8 maybe or 9, 1 Peter 1? No. Uh, no, no, no. I'll find it real quickly. It's 1 Peter chapter 1. I'm sorry, I threw that one out. I'm, I was thinking of 1 Peter 1, 18, 19, but this is 1 Peter chapter 1 and, and the end verse, of chapter. I got it, that's got it. 18. Mm -hmm. 1 Peter 1, 18 and 19. Where he says, for as much as you know, you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. First Peter 1, 18, now verse 19. But you are redeemed with the precious blood of Christ mm -hmm. as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. In other words, no matter how much silver and gold you have, the price of an eternal soul, the price of a, an, an eternal human no amount of money can purchase that freedom. But the blood of Jesus has the power to redeem and to set free the soul, the eternal soul, the spirit of an eternal being. And the blood is precious, the most valuable. One drop would bankrupt all of Wall Street because of the value. When he says precious, he's talking about the value of that blood redeems you and gives you eternal life. Jesus said, uh, talked about the love that he loves us with and that greater love has no one except to lay his life mm -hmm. down. That's just coming to no me. No greater I, love. No greater love. You quote it. No, no greater, greater love, love hath a man hath than a that man. he would lay down his life for a friend. For his friend. And he calls us friends, which is that, that covenant term, mm. you know. It's intimacy. Yeah. And so this this is not just, it's a legal thing, but the motivation mm. for God making this legal is his mm. great love yeah. wherewith he loved us. And he laid yeah. his life down. And that word friend is a covenant term. Yeah. Kind of like uh, Jonathan and yeah. David. David. They were covenant friends. Blood brothers. Blood mm. brothers. Wow. God well, loves us. So the, the blood of Jesus is liquid love. Liquid love. Flows from the heart of God because it is the blood of God. Mm -hmm. So the blood of Jesus flows from the heart of God, liquid love, and reaches into the heart or the conscience of the believer and brings healing wherever you've been broken or wounded, but makes you confident that if God is for you mm -hmm. and he loves you, who could be against Who you? Who can be against you? If he gave you Jesus, he'll, he'll give freely <laughs> give you all things. In 1 John 5, 14, this is the confidence yeah. we have in him. Mm -hmm. We have confidence in him. In prayer, if we ask prayer, anything. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Mm -hmm. And if we know he hears us, then we know we have the petitions that we desire of him. Yeah. And that again is, is again your confidence. Abiding in Him, yeah. And it's all sealed with love. It's sealed with the blood. Yeah. So your confidence is connected to seeing the power of the blood of Jesus that has removed the mm. guilt, the shame, the sense of struggling. So literally, from the Old Testament, you move from living by rules and regulations to now in the New Testament, you're living by revelation. Yeah. In other words, by faith, mm -hmm. you live by revelation, knowledge, and by faith. So you're not just uh, following just a bunch of rules and regulations, right. but you're living by consciousness of the love of God mm -hmm. and revelation of the love of Christ. And so you live by revelation. So he says in Hebrews 10, yep. 14, he says, Hebrews 10, 14, if you want to look at that, it says, um, for by one offering, here's the once again, Hebrews 9 and 10, one offering, he hath perfected forever those who are sanctified. Interesting. But other translations say, He made us holy and brought us into perfect union with God. Wow. By one offering. Wow. wow. Powerful. All right, look at verse 15. Can I read some more there? By one offering, He brought us into perfect union. Fellowship. Fellowship and union with, God. with God. Intimacy. Restored with God. to fellowship yes. with God. Wow. All right, in verse 15, he says, Whereof are the, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, also is a witness to us, for after that he had said before, and this is Hebrews 10, 16. This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. 
I will put my laws in their hearts and, and, and in their minds I will write them. And look at this. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. No more. Wow. <laughs> Think about that. In other words, he's really quoting here from Isaiah, uh, where he says, Isaiah 43, 25 and 26, yeah. where God said, um, put me in remembrance yes, this of this is promise. So good. In other uh, words, he said, I, even I am he that blots out your transgressions yes. for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. <laughs> and here in <laughs> Hebrews 10, he said, this is the blood covenant, the new covenant. God said, and their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Right. Think about that. So here yeah. what God said, put me in remembrance. In other words, God said, remind me of this promise or mm -hmm. basically God saying, don't forget this. Right. In other words, in the blood covenant, the New Testament here, he says that sin is totally removed from the mind and the memory of God. Now, here's a few little things you could look at. If, if the blood of Jesus has the power to remove sin mm -hmm. from the memory of God. Right. It must have that same power mm -hmm. to remove that so you're no longer haunted by the sense of sin. In other right. words, your mind's not a haunted house where the devil can jump out at any time with a memory and then bring guilt and condemnation and try to control you. Mm -hmm. But you're walking with God. So he says, God said, their sins and iniquities I will remember no more. So if God said that, he's not a liar. Even if you don't feel like it, your yeah. faith is in the so blood. So you can take that word and you can say, God, you said, yeah. right? He likes us to do that. He likes us to take his word and say, God, you said this. Uh, your word. He said, put me in remembrance. Yeah. Let us plead together. Yeah. Declare thou that they must be justified. So in a legal situation, you got to say, Lord, according to your covenant, yeah. the blood has washed me completely clean. I'm no longer... Uh, yeah. seen as sinful. I am the very righteousness of Not God. Not guilty. In other words, in the New T Testament, the New Covenant, the blood of Jesus removes sin consciousness. Mm -hmm. When that blood is applied by faith, in other words, you've got accurate revelation knowledge of the Word, and you've got application of that by the by the confession of your faith mm -hmm. and hold and fast to that confession, then sin can no longer hold you hostage. Sin cannot hold you. Guilt cannot hold you. Shame cannot hold you. Matter of fact, you can be like the apostle Paul said, I don't even remember the former things. He said, God <laughs> doing a new thing. You know, he said, Isaiah, Paul said the same thing. This yeah. one thing I do, I forget. I forget. Well, people can forget a lot of things. Well, you ought to be able to forget this. You forgot everything else. And so <laughs> you can forget. But and so you have the power thing. by the blood. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, it is said that if you do something for 21 days, it changes how you think. It erases and rewires your brain. Wow. So, and you're so your saying, emotions change. If yeah. your thinking changes, your words change, yeah. your actions change to line up with the truth. Yeah, your mind or your brain is a renewable resource. It is. In other <laughs> Thank words, God. <laughs> you can literally change the, the mind or brain patterns when you take the word 21 days it's in a row, speak it 21 and renewed in, renewed in the spirit of your mind. the spirit of your mind. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yes. So renewing your mind when it comes to the blood may just be just as important as any other facet of the renewing of the mind. You know, sometimes you talk to someone and you say, you know, you are just precious. God's just really working in your life, and I can see that. And then instead of saying, I believe that, they go, well. Well, I got know. a lot of problems. <laughs> and then I'm they revert back to their actions or whatever. I made a lot of mistakes. Well, no. yeah, but we have faith in the blood. I said that to someone the other day, and they started that, well. And then they go, no, you're right. I believe that, you, you know. If the price that was paid for you is precious, then you must be valuable. You must be very valuable So and don't let the devil destroy you because the, the price that was paid for your redemption is valuable and precious, which is the blood of Jesus. Amen. That means you must be valuable. You must be precious. Mm -hmm. God's assignment on your life must be very important. Mm 
So don't let the enemy and don't self-sabotage. Don't destroy yourself. Just apply the blood and apply the blood freely and continually. And by faith in his blood, we have a restoration of fellowship and favor yes. with God. That's the power of the blood. So, so God himself lives in constant view, constant consciousness of the blood. When Jesus took his blood into heaven, in Hebrews it says, and that blood speaks of the mercy <laughs> yeah. of God. So your value before God was determined on the cross if Jesus gave his life for you. So don't let the devil tell you you're insignificant, that you're worthless, and that you're a failure. The moment you come by the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. man, everything about you just brightens up That's and you right. say, God has a plan for my That's life. Right. You know, you talk about your own words. You know, it's important what we say to yeah. ourselves. It's very, very impacting what we say to ourselves. Yeah. Um, you know, I remember somebody in my past, they always, if they did something dumb, they go, you idiot. You know, <laughs> and they talk to themselves. <laughs> and uh, now they don't do that because they've learned better. But your own words. Don't be calling yourself that kind of stuff. No, huh? but we should say, I am. You wouldn't want God. God. <laughs> <laughs> you come to church and every Sunday God says, you idiot. No, <laughs> you come to church, you come by the blood and you receive the mercy of God. Right. All of us have sinned. All have failed. All of us in our own natural uh, human ability ha are, have failed. But the blood of his cross mm -hmm. and by the blood of Jesus, the value the significance mm. of our life so is totally changed. Yeah. So you wouldn't commit suicide. You're too valuable for so that. Valuable. And so you don't have to not only commit suicide, but you don't have to neutralize the expectation right. for your future right. with feeling like you're a failure and you're not going to get. You might as well not even try. Yeah, you're not even try. You're not going to get God's best. But the word the Lord gave you, we have it on one of these cards or you can get it from the office, yeah, that right. God is on my side. We'll send you one of these with a book. God is on my side for the blood has been, been applied. applied. Whoa, that's amazing. The blood has been applied. God's on your side. Every need shall be supplied and nothing shall be denied. So I enter into rest. I know that I am blessed. I have passed the test. I will get God's best. best. What a powerful confession <laughs> of faith. Amen. Amen. That God's on my side, even with your own natural ability when you struggle and you may fail. But remember the blood. The blood Turn like in Numbers 21 when they were snakes were biting them. Then, then uh, Moses got a, a pole and put a serpent on a pole and whoever looked at it would live. In other words, God didn't tell them, look at the snakes, watch out for the snakes. He said, look to the pole or look to the cross, mm -hmm. which is John 3, 14 through 16. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So look to Jesus, look get to your Jesus. eyes off of your yeah. own mistakes and yeah. failures and snakes and look to Jesus. And, and it said, everyone that looks shall live. Aha. You shall live. Yeah. And you know, not just live, but live. People need to get in good churches where you hear this kind of teaching, this yeah. kind of preaching, you know. Sometimes yeah. we stick with our traditional. My mom goes to this church, so I'm going to this church. But you get there and you just feel beat up yeah. by the time the pastor says, you did this wrong, you did that wrong, shame on, shame, shame, shame. Shame. But yeah. uh, we as ministers, we always point people to the blood of Jesus to and the to cross. the power of the cross mm -hmm. and the liquid love of God. And with that love, and that, it gives you confidence mm. to be able to do what God wants you to do. Yeah, through the power Praise of the blood, God. the blood covenant. Yep. So your confession of faith and knowing what the blood of Jesus has done for you in heaven, mm -hmm. but what it does in your heart, but your confession of faith, you must say that just to let the devil know that you know. <laughs> I say the devil. Let the devil know. The devil I know. wants you know who you are in Christ, and the devil knows who you are. And he just gets on. In out other words, of you're not saying just in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. You're saying, no, I know Jesus for myself, and I'm redeemed by His blood, and His life is in me. So you resist the devil, yep. and he will flee from you. Which means in your thought life. In your thought life, in your feelings, in the suggestions that may come to your mind are, are condemnation that may come to your mind, accusation. And so even memory of past failures, but the blood of Jesus has the power. There is power. 
Wonder working power. power. I want to read this prophecy real quick. And, and here's a prophecy by Dad Hagen uh, from probably 1980 sometime. And so I wrote it down from one of his messages. And so um, the prophecy says this, but many have said, oh, I've missed it so. I've made so many mm. mistakes. I wish I could forget about the past, the mistakes and faults and failures, and even the sin and the wrong that I did. But here's the prophecy. Yea, saith the Lord, do not count as nothing my blood. Remember my blood, the precious blood, the divine blood of the divine Son of God was shed for the remission of sin. And yea, the Lord has declared in Isaiah 43, 25, and 26, I, even I am he that blots out your transgressions, and I will not remember your sins or your iniquities. And so do not dwell upon the past. Think no longer of that which is past. Think no longer of those things which are behind. Forget the past, he says. Think no longer of it. And he says, and when the enemy shall bring a picture of it before mm. your mind, just laugh and say, ha, ha, that does not exist, Mr. Devil. That does not exist because <laughs> the Father God has blotted it all out mm. and the mm. blood has washed it all away. And now I stand in him, in Christ, and the enemy may persist, but the more he persists, the more you laugh. <laughs> laugh right in his face and Amen. he will run away and hide and you in the power of God and in his love and mercy shall abide. That's Dad Hagen's prophecy. So I wrote this down underneath it. Laughter is one way to resist the devil. That's pretty easy. In other words, it's a laugh of faith because you may not feel like, because obviously he's, mm -hmm. the thoughts are coming and the past and your failures, mm -hmm. your mistakes, and you kind of want to give up and quit. Mm -hmm. But he said, remember my blood. Don't count as nothing my blood. In other words, uh, get the scriptures out on the blood of Jesus. And I, I, I call it this, my mama would, would be slinging blood everywhere. In other words, make much of the blood, yeah. be conscious of yeah. the blood, confess the blood, sing about the That's blood, right. lift your voice and talk about the blood of Jesus. And that blood reaches to the highest mountain or it reaches into heaven, mm -hmm. reaches to the lowest valley or it reaches to the lowest point of your human experience. Right. Your failure, your mistake and reaches into your conscience, removes guilt and shame and sin consciousness and that blood produces a righteousness consciousness that you've been made the righteousness of God in Christ. You're watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. When you understand you have God's divine approval on your life, it sets you free from a sense of rejection, inadequacy or inferiority. You are then free to receive God's best blessings to follow His plan for your life. On this four CD set and new book, Divine Approval, Mark Hankins will help you understand that righteousness is a reality produced for us by the Lord Jesus Christ. The center of the gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. Stop looking for approval and acceptance in this world and receive your divine approval today. Your gift of $25 or more will help Mark and Trina Hankins train believers around the world. Order today. Call us at 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. You know, so many people suffer with the pain of regret and shame and guilt, maybe failures, past failures. And in that, they feel like they cannot move forward and they feel like they don't have the approval of anyone else. So I just cannot move forward in what God has for me. But you know, the blood of Jesus washes us clean from the past, from failure, from every mistake, and it can wash us clean from guilt and shame. So we don't have to live under the lies of the enemy. And he keeps trying to show us the picture of the past and the picture of the failure and the picture of the shame and the guilt. But we don't have to live in that because we have God's divine approval. And if we have God's approval, we don't need anyone else's approval because he has approved of us. So today I wanna encourage you to get this book, Divine Approval. 
And this will help you and encourage you and keep you on the right path to see yourself, your identity in Christ, to see yourself that you have been made righteous. And it doesn't matter what the past holds. It doesn't matter what has happened in the past, where you went wrong, because you have been washed clean. You have been made righteous and God has approved of you. And if God approves of you, you have a bright future. So if you want to get that book today, you can look at the information on the screen. You can call or go to the website. I encourage you to do that today. Thank you so much for partnering with my parents. If you are partnering with my parents, thank you. Because of your partnership, this message is changing people's lives. And if it is changing your life, I encourage you to partner with Mark Hankins Ministries, and it will help to change so many other people outside of your sphere of influence. Maybe it's not someone that you can change personally, but because of your giving and your contribution and your partnership, you are a partner in changing other people's lives. Again, I'm Alicia Hankins Moran. Thank you so much for joining us today. Kenneth E. Hagen said, in the last days, the printed page will be the most effective distribution of the gospel. It's amazing to hear stories of people who have received our books in very remote places, such as prisons, deep in the bush of Africa, and many other distant lands. Our desire is to have our books translated and distributed in as many languages as possible. These books can be left with pastors and leaders who in turn can share the books with others. We believe people's faith will be ignited for many generations to come. We like to picture the distribution of the word like passing out ammunition to people. Once people have the right ammo, they are able to take their authority in Christ, live victorious and make an impact in their world. Through the printed page, we are seeing an explosion of the reach the word is having around the world. Through your partnership, you are helping us to pass the necessary ammunition to believers around the world. The Lord continues to open the doors in new countries and languages for our books to be distributed. Our vision is to have the message of faith translated in a hundred different languages. Each project requires having the book translated, typeset, printed, and distributed. The initial cost for each project is approximately $5,000. Many partners and pastors have stepped up and sponsored one of the projects. Your World Mission Partnership of any amount makes a big difference. If you would like to sponsor one of the projects, there are many more nations to reach. The Mark Hankins Ministries app makes it easy for you to watch the latest TV broadcast, listen to the radio program, read our daily devotional, and stay connected with upcoming events. Download the app today on any smart device. Simply search Mark Hankins Ministries. Start feeding your faith anytime and anywhere. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. For more information on how to build your faith, visit markhankins.org. You can access many free word resources to help you find who you are in Christ. Stay connected with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.